Pray for me and pray that I'm going surgery. You like it, Sam? Ew! Yes, <laughs> it's cold! Look for your ear. I think she's in your room. Happy birthday, Ray! Yay! You're welcome. Where's your Where's your birthday song? Happy birthday, Ray! You want to give your ear this week? This week? Like this or that? Or that? Whoa! Why is it a cupcake? It's not a. It's a cupcake that's formed into a cake. You choose which one you want to give Yaya. This one, this one, or, or the this strawberry one? one. I want this one. Okay. Is it heavy? Yeah. 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 You and your Raya. So yeah, so we are together. Careful, your hands may blow. Okay, you sing first before you you blow. Okay. Happy birthday, Raya. Happy birthday, Raya. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Raya. Are you giving me a hug, Dayun? Good morning, everyone. It is 10:30 a.m. already, and I am so sleepy. I don't know. I feel like lagi na ako pagod, even though last night I slept at around 11. Well, kulang din naman talaga ako sa tulog. Baka naman that's why. <laughs> anyway, today is Yaya Reyes' birthday, and I'm so happy that Scotty was so game to give her a gift because usually. Parang may hangover pa si Scotty with Yaya Jera. So, lagi pa rin niyang hinahanap. Tapos, hindi siya masyadong nag-warm up kay Yaya Rhea as much as I wanted. Although now, super okay na sila. They're playmates, they're good. But, you know, love pa rin niya talaga si Yaya Jera. And when Yaya Jera left, parang he became so clingy to Yaya Doreen. It's a struggle with the relationship of the two. But Yaya Rhea has been so sweet to him, so kind and so understanding. And so, I really wanted to make... Her birthday a little bit more special and feel like she really truly is part of the family even though sometimes Scotty is resistant towards her parang for me and for Slater and for everybody else in the house love talaga namin siya and we're so thankful that we have her and we're just so grateful to have her as part of the family and so I was thinking about what gift to give her na it's her birthday usually kasi yung mga gift ko sa mga angels ko is stuff that I personally would like to receive so like a bag wallet skincare beauty jewelry mga ganon like kikai stuff because that's what I personally like so it's easy for me to buy these things for them but today parang naisip ko I want to make it a little bit more special not just for her but for the rest of the staff that we have here at home ano kaya yung thing na mabigay ko na parang very useful and something that they truly need and so I did my research and I found that there's such a thing as consulta md and it's kind of like a an app that's a telehealth service like it's the largest telehealth company in the Philippines and you can kind of log on to it to get a consultation with any doctor at any time you don't need to make an appointment instantly na connect ka to a Filipino licensed physician so whatever your problem is like physically or mentally it's so easy for you to access a doctor and na isip ko yun because and dami kong experience before that I had to contact a doctor for a lot of my staff I'm handling a lot of people now I think you heard this in the podcast na it's really hard for me to build an employer employee relationship like when somebody works for me automatic in assume ko na part ng family ko it's just I take the responsibility for them I think it's very motherly of me parang naging mom na ako sa all aspects so there was a time yung anak ng cook namin may problema siya and nasa province siya and it was really hard for him to find a doctor there because they lived in the mountains and stuff like that so I had to consult doctors here in Cebu and I had to find a doctor best suited for their situation. I had to call so many different friends who, you know, classmates ko ng college, tapos naging doctor na ngayon. Tinatanong ko sila, tapos nag-e-consult kami, but through FaceTime, you know, so many things that happened. 
I don't have all the access in the world to all of these doctors because ang access ko lang naman is Pedia, who's the kids Pedia, and my OB who assisted me when I was giving birth. So it's just really difficult, and there have been so many instances na ganon yung nangyare. So nung nakita ko yung consulta MD, I realized you know what this is really useful because not only can they use it here at home and they don't have to leave the house, they can still continue to work, which is also good for me, and they can consult lahat ng mga problems nila. You know, it means that Yaya may problems sa bones, may problems sa muscles, or you know, old age stuff like that na hindi ko naman alam kung sino i-consult. At least ito, it's super easy access, diba? At least they can get peace of mind also if it's really not a big deal, or if it is a big deal, then we can get like e-prescriptions right away. I decided to get consult the MD for everyone in my household, and no, I'm not getting a single penny for saying this, but I really wanted to share it with you guys as well because I think it's a really great service that a lot of us need. If you guys want to try it too, Consulta MD was so generous. They're offering 6,600 plus. Check ko nga kung ilan yung ibibigay nila. 6,667 family plans to give away to you guys. So I'm gonna put the voucher code below. Unahan na lang kayo. There's no catch. Like, I just really want you guys to try it. It's a family plan. So if you guys want to consult any of their doctors, just feel free to use the code. Sana magamit nyo. Sana it's gonna be useful for you guys. And thank you so much, Consulta MD, for giving this to all the Sky Fan members. I'm gonna give you the popsicles I made earlier. You want? So earlier this morning, we made a blueberry smoothie for the boys. So it's just plain, fresh blueberries with bananas. And then I put a little chia seed and flaxseed, and then we kind of put them in these little popsicle things. So let's try to have, give one to Shotty. Shot! <laughs> Which one do you like color? You choose one. <laughs> Which color do you like? Pink? Okay. <gasps> A popsicle! You don't understand it? Tipog now? Oh, good love. Tilap, tilap lang. Is it cold? Does that feel good for your teeth? Hmm? Whoa! Kid. So Hubs and I were talking about, you know, having a second kid and at this time when Scotty was eight months old, I was so intense. Like I was preparing all of these super baby led weaning meals. I was baking all the time. He would have these coconut sorbet with like chia seed pudding on top and a strawberry and stuff like that. And Sevi's only getting like fresh fruits and purees. I know it sounds so mm. terrible. Yeah, <laughs> He doesn't mind, but it's like killing me inside when I see the photos of what I used to do before. There's no possible way that I can do that now because I'm so busy with work, back to work na tayo. And during the pandemic, you know, I had nothing to do. So I had all the time in the world to prepare that for Scotty. So even though I know it's normal and Slater's always telling me not to feel bad about it. Ah! Aww, it fell, my love. Don't worry, there's more. What color do you want? What color? Green? Okay. Ugh. It's a little hard yeah. to get. There you go. Sky Bear is waiting for droppings. Say mama. That's not mama. Mama, mama. Brainwashing. Mama, mama, mama. He can't say mama, but he can say baba, right? That's how he calls me. He says baba. Can you say baba? Baba. Say mama. He loves mommy. Okay, sit down. Look 
look at this. Sky is always inserting herself in between Sevi and myself. She loves Sevi so much, and Sevi is obsessed with Sky. You're not allowed to play. <gasps> I wanna play. I wanna play, mommy. Okay. What do you wanna be when you grow up? You wanna be a monster truck driver? Oh, gabugat. You're so flexible, babe. Sam, Sam. I'm gonna work now, eh? No, I don't Puide, oi? If I don't work, how can I have money to buy you all the toys that you keep asking me for? Oh, huh? Mom, I have a money to jump <laughs> You can have one on your birthday, honey. You have to let me work for a long time first so I can save up money. You know that's expensive. Diba, you keep asking mommy why my t-shirt is so short, why you can see my tummy, or you ask me why my pants have holes in them. Why? What did mommy tell you? Because we don't have money to buy new clothes for mommy because I'm using all the money for you and Shati and dad. Why? Because you always ask for new toys, new clothes, and food. So mommy can't buy na lang new clothes. It's okay, I don't mind giving it to you guys. But I just want you to know that it's expensive and that I need to work so I can save money to buy you more toys. Okay? That's good with my truck. Dead ma. Not effective <laughs> parenting. <laughs> Scotty is so fortunate because a lot of his aunties and uncles are so generous and always give him all of the toys and sometimes he gets sponsorships with toys. And so I feel like sometimes I need to teach him the value of money and the value of these toys because he has so much. Alam yung before when we were kids, we'd have this one toy that we would treasure so much because we only had one toy. But then Scotty has so many things, so I want to teach him kind of how to value that little thing that he has. Because feeling niya parang mommy can you buy me this? Can you buy me that? Feeling niya it's so easy to buy things all the time. So I don't know how, but I'm trying to figure it out. What's for lunch, Sevi? What's for lunch? A pasta. Thanks for cooking, Yaya. This is probably not the right way to slice plums, by the way. Yeah. Do not do this at home. This is definitely not the right way to slice plums. <laughs> Sky. Mommy has so many pills to take. Let's show the camera all the pills I have to take. Kidding. One by one. Ugh. How come my mouth also opens when I open my mouth? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Mana? Yeah. Done? <sighs> I want the peach. Plums. It's plums. I'll get it for you. Delicious and nutritious. What's nutritious? Nutritious and delicious. Where's your pet? 
I asked Yamailin to let Choco inside, but Choco refuses. Really doesn't like it in here. I don't know why. What you doing, bro? What you doing, bro? What you doing, bro? Why are you laughing, bro? Where are you going, bro? Oh, you're falling, bro. Oh no, bro. What happened to you, bro? You're sweeping the floor with your body, bro. They get you. They always put photos of the other books that they have, and then Scotty asked me to buy all of them. See? That's how they get you. <laughs> and Scotty will say, Hi, my baby, my baby. Hey. <laughs> and then Scotty will help me put on Sevi's diaper, and wipe Sevi's bum, and open Sevi's clothes. And when mommy will rip open Sevi's clothes, Sevi will laugh, Diamond, right? Right. Yeah. And when we share our toys, we want to borrow other people's toys. We say, please, can I borrow your toy? And they'll say, sure. And when they let you borrow the toy, you can say, thank you. Look, 
ano, Vicky na green man! Uy, siya po! Wala ka siya! Hindi ka kita! You look so funny! Chef! Go! Mommy's the winner! Okay, ready? Going there na po sa house! Oh no! Everyone's running! Sky Bear! Hey guys, I just got home. Hi Sky Sky Bear. Say hi to everyone. It's noon time. I just had lunch and I just said goodnight to Scotty Boo who's taking his nap now and Sevi Boo who's also taking his nap now. So this is the time in the sky pod where it's super duper quiet. 1 to 3 p.m. is when I can have peace and quiet and when I usually schedule most of my meetings. <sighs> I just wanted to sit down and debrief you guys. Apparently, I need to be wearing my eyeglasses more. I feel like I'm leaving eyeglasses everywhere around the house, like in the dining area, in the kitchen, in the sala, just to kind of inspire me to wear my eyeglasses. But I just, I don't know why I can't, I don't know. I don't know why I don't want to wear them. Maybe it's because when I look at the camera, parang my eyes look so small. Or I think it's also because when I lift it up, parang my dents here on my face and don't mind my sweatiness i'm so laposh because i was out the whole day but the reason i wanted to check in with you guys is actually i went to the doctor because my brother-in-law and my friend kept telling me that they just recently went through this procedure called smile procedure with dr young larazabal who is really famous here in cebu for eye stuff like i went to his clinic for the first time today and the line was crazy and i talked to their staff and they were like oh gosh people line up here like at 2 a.m nagpapapila na sila and sometimes they wait until evening like 8 p.m. just to see Doc Yong. So I'm thinking he must be really, really good. I think he's the most popular one here in Cebu. And he's known actually here in Cebu for having all of the latest equipment. So I've been really wanting to get LASIK done 
for so long, for ages, but I've just always been so scared. And you know, they always say that the doctor has to check your eye spot if you're a candidate or not. So I always thought that my grade needed to be super high, like 500, 600 in order for me to get LASIK. And then when my brother-in-law and my friend came up to me and said, you know what, there's this new machine, it's called Smile Procedure. You know, it's so much better than LASIK because instead of cutting the whole eyeball and like doing stuff to the eye, they just make a really small incision and the downtime is non-existent. There is no downtime, so you can actually go swimming, play sports, put on makeup the very next day. Um, and they both did it and they both are so happy. They have 20-20 vision. And my brother-in-law has only 150 lang yung grade niya. So I'm like, you know what? They're raving about it so much. They're talking to me about it. Wala sila nakukuha to share that info with me. So they must really, really love it, right? So I decided to bite the bullet and face my fears and reach my goals. <laughs> so I really went to the clinic today. Thank you so much, Joel and Carla, for getting me an appointment because I know it's really hard to get an appointment at Dr. Young's clinic. Like I was talking to one of their residents there or one of their staff doctors there and she said usually it takes two months to get an appointment with Doc. So I'm really, really happy that I was able to see him today. I'm scheduled already for, I think, two weeks from now. I'm so excited but also nervous at the same time. I was so impressed by his clinic because and dami niyo mga bagong machines na parang first time kong nakita in my whole life na they could take a photo of my eyeball and it was so clear using just this one machine. Parang it was just so nice and efficient and everybody was so friendly. So I'm really looking forward to that surgery. Oh guys, I can see again. So itapon ko na lahat ng mga eyeglasses ko. I'm so excited. <laughs> so please pray for me and pray na matuloy yung surgery. I'm so excited. If you guys know anything about smile procedure and if you want to talk me out of it, leave a comment down below because I'm going to read it. I'm sure this is going to come out before I get the procedure done. So, okay. Kaya ko Kaya ko Pray for me, guys. <laughs>